Hello, everyone out there. Very exciting. I feel the buzz in the room. We can completely feel the buzz. The very opening of the Melbourne Writers' Festival, the 30th year that the Melbourne Writers' Festival has been running, and you guys are in for such a treat. And I feel very excited to be introducing this author and illustrator who are among my favourites and I'm imagining they're among your favourites too. So my name is Sally Rippon and I write for children. And I wanted to also remind you that long before Fed Square was here, long before even Melbourne was here, this land, the storytellers of this land were the people of the Kulin Nation. So it's very good to remember that when we're here at Fed Square. But I feel very excited to introduce to you two of my favourite book creators. And I imagine that there are a few people in this room who might be a little bit keen on their books too. I can see a few people with books in hands. Who has read any of the Just series? Put your hands if you've read any of the Just books. Yeah. Anybody here read any of the Bum books? Anybody here read any of the Bad books? How about the Treehouse books? They're my favourite. Yes, fantastic. Well, you don't need to hear from me any longer. Shall we give a big hand to Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton? Thank you, Sally. And um, thank you all for coming along this morning. I know it's very disappointing when you have to miss out on your regular classes for um, things like this. Um, it is. You would rather be at school. Yeah. What do you? Who's? You missed assembly. Oh, and and a long talk from the headmaster about uh, what the is it a male or a female? Female. Male and female. Yes. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. <laughs> That'd be okay. Um, now, we are we're, uh, we're not going to give you a long, um, boring talk today because we don't have one. Um, luckily, oh, I've got a few. Oh, you have a long, for... boring talk you'd like to do? I could talk about my life. That'd be interesting. All right. This is, this is Terry, my friend, and uh, enemy, and <laughs> slave. Um, Terry, yeah, you can tell a long, boring story about your life. Although, better still, why don't you illustrate it? I could do that. Yeah. But my screen's blank. Well, my life and we is don't dark. have a ladder oh. either. Oh, there we go. Did you do that by pointing at it? Yeah, it's a writer's trick. Oh. Now, um, Terry Denton is now going to uh, illustrate a long, uh, boring story about his life. OK. Um, once upon a time... Look at his weird hand. My, <laughs> my mum got really fat. <laughs> How can you even draw with that hand? And I think I was in there. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mum. And then I came out. No, we don't want to see that bit. Uh, That's all right. So much. That's... I just flew out really fast. <laughs> well. <laughs> and my arm, my arms were, the, my legs were badly damaged. <laughs> and then, um, I flew out of the hospital window. Oh, I thought you were going to fly into a brick wall there. I was hoping... Uh, well, there was this horizontal brick wall. Yeah. And I, I fell into that and... And then, and then you just splattered and died? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really funny, wouldn't it? How many well, people like to see Terry die just a moment after he was born? Um, Oh, about half. Yeah, I, yeah. Th I think it's more than half. It'd yeah. be funny for them, but, but for me, it'd be really bad. <laughs> you wouldn't even know. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't, would I? Oh, OK, I don't mind. OK, cool. Hands up those who want to see me die. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hands up those who really, really want to see me die. That's better. <laughs> Hands up those who want to see Andy die. Uh, that That's wasn't more, Andy. Many. No, OK. <laughs> <laughs> How many people want to see me and Terry have a fight to the death on stage right now? Uh, yeah. uh, hands up those who don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah, well, we have to go with you. We have to respect your wishes. So sorry, everyone else. Um, but you could draw a picture. Could you draw a picture of us having a fight to the death? My mum was wearing a green dress. What's that? I just said my mum was wearing a... I've got a green pen. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do that. I'll just pop that down there. In fact, we're, um, 
you know that bag of chips that I was keeping in the vault? Oh, yeah. Surrounded by a thousand mouse traps to stop anyone getting my chips. This is, uh, this is what I'm going to get in our next treehouse because Terry is a real chip stealer. And that's my chips. Chip. Ips. Yeah. You really didn't plan ahead there, did you? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> that's mouse what tracks. writers are for. That's what what? Writers are for. <laughs> <laughs> Planning it. We that's, plan and ahead. Just in case, that's mouse, U-S, oh, okay. Trap. Very okay. good. Damn. Oh. <laughs> mouse traps. So I keep my chips in a vault, Multiplying surrounded by, by mouse traps, so no one can possibly get in there. Uh, do I have some other lasers? Oh, an angry duck. Oh, yeah. An angry duck. It's looking quite cute. He uses, <laughs> he uses gas warfare. <laughs> And uh, he's got a loaded banana. And lasers. Can I have lasers. some lasers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, that's, that's pretty impossible for anyone to steal those chips, isn't it? Can anyone? How would you steal those chips if you were a chip stealer like Terry Denton? How would you steal them? Yes? What's that? You're very scared of Terry. We all are. But if we just be quiet and don't upset him, we should be OK. Um, what the hell? Can I, can I not turn my back for a moment? Was, can you explain how is that a, um, a security measure? I like drawing horses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the point is, you're meant to be protecting my chips. Oh, um, yeah. Who can think of a reason why that horse would be a, um, a useful... <laughs> That's the other end of the horse. <laughs> it's a very long horse that goes all the way around. Right, like right. And, and how does it protect the chips, though? Oh, um, um, is, it, is it gas um, warfare as well? It could be gas warfare as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, what if the gas went all the way across the room and gassed the horse itself? <laughs> Killed the horse. So there's yeah, a, but there's the a problem with that particular device. He's very smart. Device. He's got a gas mask on. Right. And what about my chips? They're going to get all gassed up by horse well, gas. Well, the horse has got a really long tongue that's gone into the chip packet and he's <laughs> eating them. <laughs> well, then that's useless. Can yeah, you I get, agree with you. Can you get rid of that stupid horse? Just cross it out. Just cross it out. Yeah. All right, just pretend you never saw a horse. Cross out the tongue too? Yes. Not the chips. No, no, no. The <laughs> chips are fine. <laughs> All right, now, um, to, get this, to get this fight to the death started, you need to come and steal the chips. All right? Okay. How are you going to do that? This is, this is why I like working with Terry, because I ask him questions I don't know the answer to. This um, one is really important, because I don't know the answer to it either. <laughs> Would it be my ex ex incredibly extendable hand? Mechanical. One? No, but it's got to be, it'll get in the lasers and then it'll fry, won't it? Yeah. Uh, what about saw? Cut a hole in the floor, down it comes. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. And the ladder, what about the ladder? A ladder. Not that I want to give you ideas, but... No, but that sounds like a really yep. good idea. A ladder. A laser-proof ladder. And I might come down the ladder. No, Mwah. stilts. You need stilts. Stilts! That's how you That's do it. That's even better. That's how you avoid mouse traps. That's like that was staring us in the face and I didn't see it. Where have you gone? I'm up here. All right. <laughs> and I'm reaching down because my arms are actually very long. And I'm grabbing it. And just so it sticks out, my arms are also green. There's my... 
My arm. This is Technicolor. This is really good. So your mother wore a green dress when you were born. <laughs> and is that why you're wearing green now? Yeah, deep down, if you look at are my you skin. Wearing, are you wearing a green dress now? No, I'm not. We're, I'm wearing no. green top no. and my underpants. We don't, we don't want to know. <coughs> we do want to know if they're clean. Are they clean? I put them on just this week. Good. No Shark Tank um, washing? No Shark Tank washing. Good. Good. It's green duck too. <laughs> so we get, okay, I get the chips. You get the chips. And um, then we need a scene uh, where I get very upset. So maybe sitting here eating the chips. So you need a lot of teeth uh, for that. You're eating the chips. Yep. <laughs> hand holding chip packet, hand putting chips in mouth, body somewhere. Yeah, that'll do. And you come in angry. <laughs> <laughs> But getting mad in a handsome sort of way, not an ugly way. Um, okay. <laughs> next, next one. And then you've got big fists. Yeah, and quite large muscles. And very Please. big muscles. Yeah. <laughs> well, and no, another big fist. Both hands have to be like, I don't want one arm muscly and one arm skinny. Well, okay, well That's... then, this one is really big. <laughs> but it's black. You have to have, yeah, okay, that'll do. That's nice. And a skull tattoo. Where am I going to put, oh, okay. <laughs> nip, nip. And then you've got shorts, very, almost like budgie smugglers. And then big <laughs> legs. <laughs> and tiny feet. No. <laughs> Actually, I think that looks kind of cool. That's I don't mind good. that. Um, and you've just eaten my chips. Yeah. So, so what would I be saying there? Uh, can anyone suggest a line of dialogue here? We have a dramatic moment. Yes. These are my chips. Get off. These are my chips. Get off. I think we need something stronger. Uh, stronger than get off. Yeah. You're a butt, did you say? <laughs> he already knows that. <laughs> um, uh, you're a butt, yeah, anything else? I'll go to the shop, buy some chips. This is not Shakespeare. <laughs> this is uh, the soliloquy. Something short and sharp, like pi r squared, or... Well, that's mathematical. That's what's not what's yours? Use. Chip them. Chip what? Chip them off. Chip them off. That's yeah. good, but it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's why, <laughs> that's why I want that one. Can chip we them off. Chip them off. Crying. Um. <laughs> Actually, this is really important, so I think we need to go with big pen. Chip <laughs> them <laughs> off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and a hell of a lot of exclamation marks. Now this is, this is quite typical of how we create the books. Um, sometimes we'll just put random nonsense in there because it's funny. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But That certainly didn't. That, that may get edited out later on. But at the time when you're doing it, what we're just trying to do is get a moment where a drama is happening here. Green chips. Because <laughs> I've got a green pen. Actually, they were chocolate um, chip chips. <laughs> chocolate chip. Okay. Yeah. Meow. Choc chip. Still chip. on the page? Yeah. Choc chips. chip chips. Choc um, chip chips. Okay. Chip them off. Uh, what Cherry should you do? and choc chip What do chips. I do at this point? What I'd, I'd think, what would you logically do if you just found someone had stolen your chips? What's the appropriate response? Yes. Throw a bomb at them. <laughs> no, in real life. Like, what's, what's the appropriate response to, Send a, in a killer duck? to a chip thief? Yes. What? Steal the chips back from him. Not bad. Um, 
Can you, can I, can I pull the chips out of your hand? That's going to be really, really complicated in this drawing. What about, we, want, what we about can do a close-up. Close-up? Yeah, OK. Because <laughs> then it would show them my skill in drawing hands. Chip packet. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Hand without chips. Oh, no. Hand grabbing chips. Isn't that a great hand? Just in case you... Hand. And then muscly arm. <laughs> then he's watch. I th I think sh you should write Andy's hand. Oh, well, yeah. So it actually... Andy's cool, muscly hand. Andy's cool, idiotic <laughs> hand. Yeah, well, that's because you couldn't spell muscly, could you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so the, the chips are grabbed. Movement lines, chips flying through the air. Very poetic, like that scene out of um, Simpsons where the chips fly through the air. And I think Terry would not take that lightly, and I think chips should go everywhere. Can we have a scene where chips just are just like chip mayhem, chip chaos? Really close up chips. <laughs> <laughs> Far away chips, <laughs> flying chips. Looks like an outer space scene, doesn't yeah. it? Chips on the edge. Oh. Draw some, draw some, like make this like outer space, but it's all chip themed. Uh, a UFC. Saturn chips. A what? A unidentified flying unidentified chip. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's an unidentified flying chip. You already did one of them. Hey? Um, that was. What that else was do we have in chip. space that um, can be chip themed? Yeah? Aliens, Aliens but they've got to be um, chip, chip themed. Chip man. Chip. Chip man. Oh, Chip man. Here we go. With budgie smugglers. Looks a bit like a crab. Does look like a crab. Eyes on stalks. Mip, mip. Is Chip angry. man? Is Chip man good or evil? Is he a? He's an evil superhero. An evil supervillain. Oh, we need to cape. No, he needs a green cape. You need a cape. He needs a cape, Terry. And if we had a supervillain called Chip Man... <laughs> I thought you were making Chip Man, Chip Woman there for a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chip Man is a supervillain. Um, what does he want? What does this particular... Chip villain want yes, Doritos. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd probably want people to stop eating chips. Um, that that would well no that'd be superhero wouldn't it? Yeah. How do you fight a chip man supervillain? What's what's the thing that you fight a chip with? <coughs> yes. Guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Salsa sauce, guacamole, tomato sauce. Um, Water. Making him irresistible to human. Can we have a picture of Chip Man being splattered, like blasted with sauce and guacamole? Oh, guacamole. See, yeah. guacamole's good, stripy That's... lady, because I've got green. <laughs> and it's a really cool word, word guacamole. Can you write guacamole for us, Terry? Yeah, but you may not recognise it. <laughs> Guac. Uh, uh, we can't see it. Mole. No. Oh. A mole. <laughs> that is a G, by the way. Guacamole. <laughs> so, no, it just says guacamole. Yeah. Guacamole. All right. 
Chipman is getting hit with... Uh, salsa sauce. I don't have red, but... Okay, salsa. <laughs> what else? Someone oh. eating a chip. So maybe there needs to be a character down here who is eating a chip that he is trying to stop that happening. Which would be you, Andy. Yeah, because that's solving my problem. I've wanted chips. Beep, 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 beep. And then, is that then, Chip Man? No, this is Chip. Oh, you eating Chip Man? Yeah, I'm eating Chip Man. Oh, okay. We're going to solve this problem. Okay, well then I've got a real big problem because I've got a big circle there. That's Chip Man's mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, that she means is, I can draw a she bra. She's not happy that I just ate her son. But they could be sunglasses. <laughs> it's looking like a, a teenage mutant ninja chip. She's wearing <laughs> high heels. And she needs to, have, she's got very discreet pants. And long. Looks like she's dancing for joy. She hated her son. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very happy lady. <laughs> and she's got green lipstick. All right, is that the end of that story? I think it probably is. I think, yeah, it should have ended some time ago. I think you should yeah. get on with your talk now. Right, um, well, this was your talk. That's the end of Terry's talk. All right. <laughs> um, any questions about Terry's talk? Yes. Yes. How do you ah. draw good tree houses? Well, that's actually a subject I was going to talk about. The first thing you need before you draw a tree house is you need something even more important than a tree house. What do you need? What do you need? Chips. No. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> the chip Close. section of the talk is finished. All right? <laughs> Enough about chips. I'm a little bit upset because he stole them. Um, uh, we need something even more important than chips. Even more important than inspiration. Yes. A tree. a tree. Very good. Now, Terry, can you draw some trees? We'll put you into the research uh, position here. You have to choose the right tree to draw a tree house. So how many That's people think that tree. is a good tree to build a multi-level tree house in? Uh, about two people. Uh, yeah, what about? Looks like a mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Or a cupcake. All right, then. No, well, to, <coughs> what have about you got any other sort of trees? It's a, just a very, I mean, it's side on. You'll have to forgive me for that. I was <laughs> running out of paper. What about a very tall tree? Nice, but there's no branches. Oh, yeah, OK. You're They're right. quite important. You want one with branches. You could have said that at the beginning. That would have been most helpful. I like uh, branches so I can build 13 levels. Wow. Uh, bowling alley, tank full of man-eating sharks, wow. uh, ice cream parlor with 78 different wow. flavors. So we need levels. Level, looking anything? down on them. Something like that? Yep, that's good. And now we need a brave hero for our story. Uh, he's quite good looking. He's really smart and really clever. So it could be Chip Man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've got it. Yeah. I've got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just stand here, Terry. Terry. <laughs> oh, that's good, yeah. Is that helpful? 
Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> See what you mean? You getting the idea? I think I am. Uh. No. <laughs> so a bit like that. No. No, not like that at all. Uh, you need to come down a bit. Um, my head's missing. I like it when your head goes missing. <laughs> All right, uh, that'll do. Um, now we need a really stupid guy. Uh, he's really dumb. Uh, the type of person who washes their underpants in the shark tank. Uh, type of person who mistakes someone's head for a bowling well, ball. What about that guy um, with the glasses? I could draw no, him. I'm not, I'm not asking for volunteers. <laughs> um, <laughs> Even though you do fit that description perfectly. That would be um, this very handsome man. Yeah, curly hair, no pants. <laughs> I'm not going to draw someone without pants. No. Unless there's a very big cat flying by. <laughs> and, no, um, and no brain. No brain. Yeah, that's OK. M T. What? Empty. <laughs> <laughs> and we need a, um, a a girl wonder, uh, someone to fix all their problems when okay. sharks get sick, when um, ants get mad. Uh, that's her. That's looking a lot like her. That would be a girl called Jill. Yep. Legs two, arms two, cat one. Flying cat. <laughs> um, Sally, would you like to um, wander into the audience? We might take some questions as we go here. Um, if you have a question, Sally will uh, point the microphone at your mouth. And if you could ask the question, rather than make a rude noise, that would be appropriate. That would you be ready? appreciated. Ready for a yep. question? Here comes one over here. Hello. Well, um, for the Jill and all that, are yep. they actually real people? Uh, yes. Um, well, I'm real. <laughs> Terry's not. Um, <laughs> he's just this kind of made up nut. Um, <laughs> escaped from my writing book once. Um, Jill is my wife in real life, although she is older than oh. nine years old. Oh. Um, she's oh. the editor of all the books. And so when Terry and I do this kind of messy playing around, I'll often bring this back to Jill and she will look at it and go, well, chip man, yeah, that's good, but we need something more there. So she provides that role of feedback, which... Another question up here? There is no hugging or kissing in the treehouse books. Um, Terry, grow up, if you can. That's me throwing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, throw up. Uh, did, you, did you growing up or throwing up? Um, Draw um, yourself throwing up at that's that me throwing awful up there. thing you've drawn. That yeah. hideous love scene I've just experienced. Yeah. That would be illustrating how most of the Bits audience of is feeling at the moment. Old chop bone. <laughs> at my chip, all my chip. chips. <laughs> um, chip man who I mistakenly ate. Probably a dead rat. Oh yeah, dead rat. It's not a very good drawing of a rat. That's a cute mouse. Uh, <laughs> and he knows he's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. We shouldn't uh, look at that for too long. Another question? Thanks for asking that question. Great. Here's but yeah, we're all here. real and we all always have a book to write each year. So the books are based around that kind of reality. And there's a lot of a lot of digression, and you see that in the actual process, and that's what the books are about. Yes. Another question over here. How long have you been writing or illustrating for? Terry. Well, I'd say about 20 minutes. 
Is that what you meant? I've been doing it since I was probably your age, although I can't see you. Um, he's 21, I think. He's 21. <laughs> <laughs> since I was a wee boy, I, I, drawing, I was in love with uh, cartoon characters, Daffy Duck and char the characters of my childhood, and um, I've sort of done it ever since. We started working together about 20 years ago, didn't we? Mm. 20 years, 20 long years ago, feels like 40. <laughs> um, and I started writing when I was probably six or seven, and I've, I always have had a little exercise book or a notebook, which I'll always just be jotting down ideas, random snatches of conversation, something I see in a movie, I might just write down one word description of it. Um, and that all is the compost that goes into the books. So um, if you're at all interested in writing, keep a notebook, put one note in it a day, and at the end of a year you have 365 ideas, and one of those is going to be kind of good, um, maybe two. And I think Terry has often said, watch the damn someone, visualizer. Someone then just kicked the visualizer, <laughs> but now everything's... Um, kind of all right. Something you said to me once stuck with me, because it's true of me too. You said you weren't the best drawer in the class, but you were the one who practised the most. Yeah, and well, I drew because I love drawing. What's that? <laughs> he is so slow. That is the letters one and zero, which makes up ten. I'm not up to my tenth number yet. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> that helps, thanks. Um, um, I draw every day too. You know, the, the thing about drawing is, is I do it not because I'm good at it, but because I love it. And if you do it that way, eventually you get good at it. And I, that's true of me too. And Jill will tell you, uh, she often says to me, you're not very good at description, you're not very good at complicated action sequences, and you're not very good at characterisation. And you don't do the dishes. Yeah. And yet, what? And you don't do the ditches. I do. <laughs> that's my main contribution to the books. Um, but yeah, you're having fun, and that's what transmits to the, uh, the reader. Yes. Another question over here. What's your favourite book you've written? Um, I think for me it's The Bad Book. Uh, is that yours? Yeah, I think so, The Bad Book, because it took us somewhere we hadn't been before into a bad, bad world, really. Yeah, that was the first book we did together. We would get together every week and do exactly what you've just seen and we'd make each other laugh and the bad book was the book that came out. Um, and I think you see the seeds of the Treehouse book in the bad books. Uh, in fact, we were trying to write the very, very bad book and all Terry came along with was a picture of that little bird with the really... <laughs> do you want to draw it for us? It was a photograph, but... Um, we, we got to get to this meeting, we had a week, and I said, what have you got for the very, very bad book? And he had this cute little bird. My uh, very this. cute little bird, who had... And in his hand, in his wing, very he was holding... Very big. Uh, And it was the collision of those two images, the, the dangerous gun and the cute bird, and it made me laugh so much. And then I did a, a second version, which was a guinea pig <laughs> holding a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow not quite as funny as the bird with the pistol. And I, I think the, the original bird was an even bigger gun. It was yeah. three times yeah, was a, as big yes, as the bird. Yes, that's true. Um, and I just said, I don't know how we can go any badder than that. It's like there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> so as we started saying, I wonder if Andy and Terry could be in the book uh, hosting the piece and, and they can't write the bad book because they're out of ideas and they probably live in a treehouse. And that's when I asked Terry, can you draw a treehouse, like really inappropriate one with bowling alleys and, and shucks. So um, that's how that happened. So that's why the bad book is our favourite. And we also got into a lot of trouble over the bad book because we had a character who said, Mummy, can I run across this very busy six-lane highway with my eyes shut? And the bad mummy, instead of saying no, said yes, but be careful. 
And so the kid runs across the road and gets hit by a car. And the mother, instead of being upset, went, whoops, and then just walks away with her shopping trolley. Um, now, we got into a lot of trouble over that because... Ah, This is a picture, a sad picture of a boy running across a road with his eyes shut. I think they're open, Terry. Hey. Can you shut his eyes? His eyes? No, on his head. What about them? Oh, yeah, they've got... Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, they're, they're dead. And his tongue's sticking out there. Um, and his mother... is pushing her shopping trolley. Nice little handbag. Nice little shopping trolley. Beep, 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 beep. Cornflakes. And she said... She's got lovely legs. She oops. said, whoops. Oh! I prematurely exclamated. Right. So we... We got into trouble because people said, you're encouraging children to run across the road with their eyes shut. And I said, children are much more intelligent than that. They don't just read about this and then think, oh, that's a good idea and go out and do it. Um, let me uh, just check. How many people have read this particular cartoon and then run across the road with their eyes shut? Well, <laughs> maybe there were no cars coming. You got away with it. But I said, that's the best road safety lesson you can give kids. It's actually teaching them not to run across the road. But um, that's beautiful, Terry. Keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> so we might have time for one last question. Uh, We've got a few one more One last left. question. One Good. last one. Yep. In the next Treehouse series, is there going to be a hot salsa machine? Uh, a what? A hot? Salsa machine. Hot <laughs> salsa machine. Maybe something to do with Chip Man? Um, I don't know. It shoots uh, hot salsa at people. Shoots hot salsa? A, a vat of hot, hot salsa, oh, vat. <laughs> which, if we are attacked by chips, we could uh, throw them in. Yeah, you have Thank you. I, I shall add it to the list. For every Treehouse book that gets done, I start with a list of about 60 or 70 different levels, and we whittle them down to the, the most unusual and surprising 13. So I can't guarantee it'll be in there, but uh, having lots to start with is a good thing. Um, one last question down the front. One yes. last question. Big loud voice. One down the front. Um, I read in a magazine that apparently you like drawings and wearing a wetsuit. Can Doesn't you repeat everybody? that question? <laughs> apparently you like drawing with a wetsuit on. Yeah. <laughs> Got a problem with that? <laughs> <laughs> They're very hard to get on, very hard to get off. Which he means also, by the time you get it on, you're really, you're fit and, you know, you're ready to draw. He also likes drawing in the nude. Um, <laughs> and the wetsuit is much more preferable, uh, <laughs> believe me. Um, are you, is that five? I uh, had two, so between You're getting two, five, any... Three. Two half yeah. questions. Yeah. All right, we're doing one last question? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. great, okay, over here. What sparked the idea to start the Treehouse series? Um, exactly what I just described. We were trying to do the very, very bad book, didn't have enough ideas, started trying something else. I mean, we get another um, question then? <laughs> uh, actually, what I'd like to do, can, can we draw my favourite character in the new book? What, what's I'm that? very busy. Um, uh, How the, are we going? Yep. Well, in the new book, we go back in time to get a pr uh, building permit. Terry's built a time machine out of a rubbish bin, out of a wheelie bin, and we go back to pre-dinosaur yeah, times, and we saw, see a particular dinosaur. Who knows what sort of dinosaur we see? Yes. The big nososaurus. The one that nobody actually knew about, but which is suspected to have killed off all the dinosaurs when its nose got so big it exploded. In the books, we have a publisher called Mr. Big Nose. And if you're wondering whether Mr. Big Nose is real, I can't tell you that, uh, honestly. But no, he's not real. Um, 
Mr. Big Nose is the big bad wolf. Every story needs a big bad wolf and some scared little pigs. And I thought if we go back in time, we'll see another big nose create creature. Because one of the things I love writing about and researching are dinosaurs. And that's why they keep coming up in a number of different books. And there's a wimpy little Andy, very scared. No, no, brave. Brave, oh, brave Andy. Brave. 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 Very brave Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting it with nothing but a <laughs> toothpick. But a very sharp toothpick. And then I stick the pin into its nose. Bow. And then we draw one of Terry's <laughs> favourite things. <laughs> A never-ending hand. What? Well, it's like a hand that never ends. It just <laughs> keeps going round. <laughs> it's just an idea I had. It's an explosion. Sorry. How are we going? We're in the middle there, vaguely. That's good. Um, add some colour to it. Just a little bit more snot. Have you got a green text oh, by oh, any oh, chance? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Snot. 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 And, and a rhinoceros. And a small rhinoceros? Yeah. Just big, a nose rhinoceros. A rhinoceros. <laughs> that is just um, never going to work. And then the words, the end, coming out of the middle of the explosion. Yeah, but I haven't finished colouring it in. <laughs> the pressure. The end in green, I think. The. Yeah. The end. Um, and to black. Boom, 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 and then in boom, brackets, boom. can you write, now chip off. <laughs> now chip now off out of here. Chip off. Out of, out of here. Out of? Yeah. Here. That kind of here? <laughs> or this kind of here? It, whatever. Or maybe there. <laughs> or there. Now you're just confusing them, and we have to stop. Thank oh, okay. you so much for coming along to our talk today. Can everybody today. give him a big clap? Talk.